It's usually a two hour process because they want to hold the ones they want. There are some that just, there was a tan that we had, grumpiest thing we've ever seen. Did not like me, it would settle down when I get it out, but in the meantime it was doing the circle thing. I gave it to this one lady one time and it just sat there like, yeah. On the ground, hang on to it here so it doesn't go flying all over and shake the daylight out. Literal. Yeah. I've got uh, brand new uh, feeders uh, here, four inch feeders here, and this is all soaked. And again, you can see this guy is is chewing bad. He's probably not going to stop. Uh, he's uh, a year old uh, history. Okay. Okay. Again, be mindful to keep my face out of the picture. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I grab his ears and slide my thumb underneath his chin, put his ears between middle finger and index finger. Okay. Okay. And I've got my thumb actually, I can feel his jaw where it comes together underneath here. Okay. That allows me to bend his neck back. Okay. And then again, I lift up with my middle finger. And, and pull. And that time I heard an audible snap, and now this time you've seen him do this thing. Okay. I can do this all day long, I don't need the experience. <laughs> so, grab the next one. He'll just twitch there until he's dead. He's just, he's dead already, he's yeah. just, the nerves are dying. How much time will he twitch? Maybe half a minute. You're having trouble with this, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know if I can do that. The okay. one yesterday was so fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. This guy is indeed nibbling on his side. Okay. He's not going to stop. Again, thumb underneath the chin like that, ears surround with my index or my middle finger yeah. behind his ears, bending back, and it's just a gentle pull. Okay. And he's going to twitch. Okay. Yeah. I can understand where it might upset you a little bit because he's, he's screaming. He's not used to being held, mm -hmm. and he's complaining about it. And he's probably got a right to complain about it because I'm going to kill him. He doesn't have an option. He's chewed on his fur and he has used up his his uh, nine lives or it's a cat or whatever. You, know, it's you get it on the ear tag? Got it right on the ear tag. And this one right on the back foot. Does it matter which the opposite? I go I go cross body. That way I know I'm going across through the heart. Okay. okay. And I got a hold of the tail up at the the far end of the tail. And that's all they do. Okay, there's no twitching, no squealing, no jumping, no nothing. Uh, at one time, uh, as I do that, now once I got that done, I can peel her back, her head off. Mm -hmm. And now I'm to the point where I can see the ears where they're mm -hmm. attached here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more sand in there, fold her face back over, and I take my handy dandy uh, snips. Mm -hmm. They don't need the whiskers anymore. So I'm around where I can get and pull that leg right up and out. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm with the flat of my hand, I'm going to hold this the, the pelt down on the pelting board. And using lots of sand, I'm going to peel the animal out of this. And what I'm trying to do is get as much of the membrane. Mm -hmm. If you look right here is the uh, knee, I think. Put my finger there, and I stretch this, mm -hmm. and use that my finger as a guide, and I cut that off. Okay. Okay, if you do not cut far enough the uh, butt down there, that makes the stack a little more stable. And there's nine else. 